Amen, amen, praise the Lord. I'm still standing. I'm still standing. Praise the name of the Lord. Greetings, greetings everyone. God bless you today. In the name of Jesus, we give thanks for another day that the Lord has spared our life. And we're able to come and think about Him and give Him praise and give Him glory. God is worthy to be praised. The Lord is worthy to praise from the uprising of the sun to the going down of the same. We give Him thanks and we give Him praise. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Welcome everyone to our teleconference. And I have to admit, I'm um, sorry we have to start so late tonight. Um, we've been up and down over the last couple of weeks. Um, Rose's um, father is not well and he's in the hospital. And we had to be going backwards and forward um, to try and help him, pray for him. And, you know, thank God we prayed for him and um, he's on the road to recovery. Praise the Lord. But at one stage the doctors thought maybe he would make it. He would make it and he wasn't breathing properly and all that. So it's been a bit hectic. So basically, main reason why I start so late is because... I think we're both tired at the moment, but give God thanks and give God praise for all things in good times and in bad times. But thank God, as I said, he's on the road to recover. Praise the name of the Lord. So I'm going to go into the Word for a short while. And but I want to ask Sister Rose um, to say the prayer before I go into the Word. Sister Rose. Greetings, everyone. Greetings, Hi. greetings. Good to be alive to see a brand new day, and I'm just grateful to the Lord that He hears and He answers prayers. Mm. And Jesus and my husband have said that it could have been a different situation, but we all prayed at the hospital. And thank God He's alive today. And I just ask you to continue to keep Him in your prayers because God hears and answers prayers. He's the same God today, He was the same yesterday, and He will always be the same, and He'll be the same tomorrow. So, Heavenly Father, I give you thanks, I give you praise, I give you glory, I give you honor. I thank you for today, Lord. I thank you for your mercies. I thank you for your grace. I thank you, Lord, that you still have mercy, Lord, that my Father is alive today. Lord, I pray, Lord, that you be the one that's on the earth tonight, Lord. I pray, Lord, that the words that are spoken from your son's mouth today, Lord, will be spoken from the scriptures, Lord. I pray that we will not be the same one with me this evening. Lord, I thank you, Lord, I worship you, Lord, I lift up your name on high. Lord, you are so worthy to be praised. Lord, you are so worthy to be glorified. You are so worthy to be honored. Great things you have done. You are wonderful. You are a great, big, wonderful God. Always victorious, always watching over us. You are a great, big, wonderful God. Lord, I leave everything in your hands, and I give you thanks and praise. Jesus' name, amen. Amen, amen, amen. God bless you, Sister Rose. God bless you. Um, just want to uh, go to the Word of God briefly. Um, when I'm looking at Psalms um, 46. For Psalm 46, it says, God is our refuge and our strength. I want to read the chapter. Psalm 46, God is our refuge and our strength, a very present help in trouble. Therefore will not we fear, though the earth be removed, and though the mountains be carried in the midst of the sea. Though the waters thereof roar and be troubled, though the mountains shake with the swelling thereof, there is a river, the stream whereof shall make glad the city of God, the holy place of the tabernacle of the Most High. God is in the midst of her. She shall not be moved. God shall help her in that right early. The heathen rage and the kingdom were moved. He uttered his voice and the earth melted. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge. Come behold the works of the Lord. What desolation he hath made in the earth. He maketh wars to cease unto the ends of the earth. He breaketh the bow and cutteth the spear in sunder. He burneth the chariot in the fire. Be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the heathen. I will be exalted in the earth. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge. Praise God. The Lord of hosts is with us. And the God of Jacob is our refuge. Praise God. So my dear brethren, it's wonderful when we know who God is. 
And we know as the psalmist says, He is our refuge and our strength, our refuge in times of trouble. When we can't make it, when we are when we haven't got no strength in us, when we are weak, when we are we are unable to help ourselves, when we need somewhere to hide in times of trouble, when you know God is there for us, praise God. He is a very present help in trouble. Whatever the trouble may be, he is a very present help. Praise God. So thank God that you know we serve such a God who he sits high but he looks low and he looks at all of us and he sees he looks beyond also he looks beyond our faults and see our needs and he's a great loving God he is our refuge anytime we're in trouble I, I mean as I said um, sister Rose's father was so unwell but we said we know God we know God we know a God who hears and answers prayer our uh, 24 sevens anytime we can call upon him so we, we we will not fear therefore we will not fear why should we fear when we know a God who can do the impossible who can make the impossible possible why should we fear when we know this God who created the heaven and the earth and everything upon the earth everything that move it upon the earth was created by our God and the psalmist said he that same God is our refuge and our strength and a present help, a very present help in times of trouble. Therefore will not we fear. Therefore will we not be doubt or fear. We have confidence that this God, He hears and answers prayer. It doesn't matter what time it is, whether day, morning, noon or night. And we call upon the name of Jesus. And he hears the Lord hear thee from heaven. The, the name the, the name of the Lord of Jacob defend thee. He will send help from the sanctuary. Praise the name of the Lord. What a great God. Therefore will we will not we fear, though the earth be removed, and though the mountains be carried in the midst of the sea, though the waters thereof are troubled, be troubled, and though the mountains shake. With the swelling thereof. Can you imagine the waters, the great ocean, the great waves, and the billows are sh shaking and roaring because, you know, and then the mountains shaking with the swelling thereof. We will not fear. There's an earthquake, the earth is trembling, but we will not fear. The sea is boisterous, but we will not fear. We remember the time when Jesus was on the, in the boat. And the sea was so boisterous and the water, the water was coming into the sea, into the boat. And we see that the disciples were so troubled. Sometimes we're in a situation where we are so troubled, we are so concerned. We are doubtful and doubt comes into our heart and says, will we make it? But the Bible says, we will not fear. We, therefore, will not be fear, though the waters they of war and be troubled. We are because we know the one who controls the water. We know the one who controls the wave. We know the one that controls the torment of the sea, the torment of the sea. We know he who created the sea. We know him who said to the said to the sea and to the shore, no further, thus far and no further. He commanded the waters to stay at the shore and not to overflow the shore. That is the God we serve. He has our power. Praise the Lord. Even though the mountains shake with the swelling thereof, the mountains are shaking and trembling, but we will not fear. No matter what the trouble is, no matter what the devil throws at us, we will not fear because we know Jesus. We know the power of his resurrection. The Bible goes on to say, Psalm 46, verse 4, There is a river, the stream, the way of shall make glad the city of God. There is a river, the stream, where of shall make glad the city of God. There is a river of peace. There's a river of joy, ever flowing, 
ever flowing, a river of peace, a river of joy. There is a river, the streams will of make glad the joy, the peace, the love of God flows in that river. There is a river. There is a river of calmness, of joy, peace, love. Praise the name of the... There is a river there. There is hope there. Hope thou in God. Our faith is in God because we know who He is. We understand who God is. We know that God is true to His Word. The holy place of the tabernacle of the Most High. God is in the midst of her. God is in the midst. God is in the midst of us. No matter what the condition, God is in the midst of us. And she shall not be moved. And God shall help her. And that right early. No matter what the situation, my brethren, God will be there and he will be there on time. He's never late. God is never late. When we think about Lazarus, when Lazarus was sick, Jesus could have gone there before he got died, but Jesus wanted to show his power. Jesus said in his word, our friend Lazarus is sick. And after her, they said, our friend Lazarus is dead. But he said, I am glad. Can you imagine? He said, I'm glad for your sake. Praise the name of the Lord because God wanted to show his power. One songwriter says, if we didn't have problem, we would never know that God can solve them. But when we have problem, it proves us. It proves to us what God can do. It proves us the power of his resurrection. It proves to us the power of his word. God shall help her and that right early. God shall help you and I and that right early. He will help us on time. Because he's never late. Even though Lazarus was dead, but he, was, he went there, but he was never late. He was on time. He was four days late, but he was on time. And he was on time enough to seal, to, to say, take me where you lay him. And when they took him, he said, he said, roll away the stone. And when they roll away the stone, he said with a loud voice, Lazarus, come forth. Hallelujah. And there comes Lazarus, wrapped, wrapped up, as they placed him in the tomb. Jesus says, loose him and let him go. And of course, we can imagine that he was back to his own just as he was before he died. All the skin, which would have been deteriorated, was back to the stage it was before he died. God restored him, restored him to the fullness. So this is the God we serve. And verse 6, verse 4, Psalm 46, it says, The heathen rage, the kingdom were moved. He uttered his voice and the earth melted. How powerful the kingdom, the heathen rage. Those that don't believe God, they rage. The kingdoms were moved. And all he had to do is utter his voice, speak the word, and the entire earth, the earth melted. How powerful is this God? You know, when we think about how good and how great God is, you know, we just, in our hearts, there's songs of joy and there's sounds of, you know, in, you know, we have so, so much joy when we know this great God, how powerful he is, that he just speak the word and it is done. And all we need to do is serve him. All we need to do is worship him. All we need to do is give him the glory that is due unto his name. He uttered his voice. He spoke the word. And the earth melted. The earth melted. The Lord of hosts is with us. Oh, praise God. The God of Jacob is our refuge. The same God. The same God who was there with Jacob, who appeared before Jacob. The same God who J Jacob saw and wrestled with that angel. The same God, when he saw the leather, the leather coming down from heaven, 
and said, How dreadful is this place, this is no more than the gates of heaven. And God blessed him because he was he made up his mind that he would hold on to God. He would not let him go. And the angel said, Let me go for the day break it. Jacob said, I will not let you go until you bless me. That's the kind of commitment that God wants us to have when we're serving him, that I will not let you go. I will not let go of the Lord. I will not let him go until he bless me. And then you see that God bestowed a blessing upon Jacob and changed his name to Israel. And because of his determination, the name of Israel will always be remembered because of Jacob and his determination. God wants us to be determined. He wants us to be determined to see our salvation to the end. He wants us to hold on to him, hold on to his word, believe his word, not to doubt, not to fear. Because the Bible says, perfect love casts out fear. So if we are living a life of fear, it means that we are not perfect in love. We are not perfect in love. Praise God. Um, then it says, come and behold, come behold the works of the Lord. What desolation he has made in the earth. He maketh war to cease to the ends of the earth. Our God is not a God that loves war. Our God, is our God, and the Bible says He's the Prince of Peace. Jesus is the Prince of Peace. He's not a war. He's not a war God. He's not a God of war. He's a God of peace. He is the Prince of Peace. Come behold the works of the Lord. What desolation He has made on the earth, in the earth. He make it wars, even what, I mean, if Jesus was reigning in the, on this earth, there would be no war. You see what people, I mean, what's happening all over the world, so many wars, everywhere there's war. War in the east, war in the west, war up north and war in the south. Wherever where there's war, if Jesus was reigning on this earth, there would not be no war. Because he's a God of peace. He's a prince of peace. He is altogether lovely. How many people died in war? How many millions of people just perish in war? God desire for us is to live and not to die. God desire for us is to be happy and in peace. And whatever comes is just from the enemy, the devil himself. Because the Bible says the devil come only to kill, steal, and to destroy. To steal, kill, and destroy. He has no good... He, he doesn't care who he kills, who, who he steals from, and who he destroy. But God said, Jesus says, I come that ye might have life. You and I will have life and life more abundantly. Praise the Lord. He breaketh the bow, he cut the spear in sunder. He burneth the chariot in the fire. Be still. Hear this, be still. He make it worse to cease. Unto the ends of the earth, he breaketh the bows. We use the bow to shoot and to kill. The spear is made to kill. But he breaketh the bow and cut at the spear in sunder. God is not a God of war. He's a God of peace. He's a God of love. He burn it. Because we know charities used to fight war in those days. He burned the chariot in the fire. No war. No more war. Be still, he says. Be still. When things are not going our way, be still and know that there is a God. Be still and know that we have a refuge and we have strength in time of weakness, a refuge in time of storm and strength in time of weakness because the Lord is our strength. The Lord is our refuge and our strength. Without God, we have no refuge. Without God, we have no strength. He is our refuge and strength. 
Be still and know that I am God. Know that I am God. Know that there is a God. And because we know that there is a God, we know that we can call upon Him. And we know that not only we can call upon Him, but He will answer. He will deliver. He will shield us from the snare of the enemy. Be still and know I am God. I will be exalted among the heathen. I will be exalted in the earth. He will be exalted in the, among you. He will be exalted among the heathen. He, because the Bible says that the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow. Of things on earth, of the things in the heaven, things on earth, and things beneath the earth. Every knee that there is shall bow. I will be exalted among the heathen. I will be exalted in the earth. He will be exalted. He's worthy to be exalted among the heathen. And he is worthy to be exalted on the earth. Every knee shall confess that Jesus is Lord. No much. Everyone shall confess. Everyone shall confess. It doesn't matter if you're Muslim, if you're Mormon, if you're um, whatever religion you may be. Church of God, Church of England, um, Roman Catholic, whatever, whatever, whatever religion, every religion that think about, they will confess. They will confess that Jesus is Lord because he's exalted. I will be exalted among the heathen. I will be exalted in the earth. The Lord of hosts is with us and the God of Jacob is our refuge. Now in Romans chapter 8, and I'll read a few verses from Romans chapter 8 from verse 36. And this is Paul's writing to the this is Paul's writing to the Romans. He says Romans 8:36, it as it is written, for thy sake are we killed all the day long. We are counted as sheep for the slaughter. Nay, that's the thing, nay. We, for thy sake, we are killed all the day long. We are counted as sheep for the slaughter, but nay. In all these things, we are more than conquerors through him that love us. Isn't that interesting? Isn't that interesting how, for, for the sake of the Lord Jesus, we are killed all day long. We are counted, we are destroyed, we are counted a sheep for the slaughter. But he said, nay, 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 in all these things, we are more than conquerors. We are more than conquerors through him that love us. We are conquerors. For he says in verse 38, I am persuaded, I, for I am bes persuaded that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor height, nor depth, depth, nor any other creature shall be able to separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus. Isn't these words so comforting, brethren? Isn't these words so comforting? No, we are counted as sheep for the slaughter, but nay, in all these things we are more than conquerors. I am persuaded that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nothing. In other words, Paul is saying nothing, nothing can separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus. Isn't that wonderful? And this is why we, we do not need to fear. We do not need to fear. And there's nothing greater, nothing greater than to live a life without fear. And that's what God promised His people, His children, who trust Him, who love Him, who serve Him. We can live a life without fear. Because God is our refuge and He's our strength. And He's a very present help in times of trouble. 
He's a very present help in times of trouble. Isn't that wonderful? We are more than conquerors. Praise the Lord. We are more than conquerors. I mean, when we think of ourselves, David said, well, what is man? What is man that God Almighty is mindful of? What, what is man? And what is the Son of Man? What is you and I that God is mindful of? Because we, are God, we have God's Spirit in us. And God's Spirit is eternal. And so God is not going to really forsake His own because we are spiritual people. God is not going to forsake himself, for forsake us. He, nothing can separate us because we are, we are gods. We are God. We are part of God. And that's why God loves us. And he loves us enough to die for us, to give up his life. His son, he came incarnated in the flesh. He became flesh and he died for us. Oh, praise him. When we think about that, what love. One songwriter says, such love, such wondrous love, that God should love a sinner such as I. How wonderful, how wonderful is love like this. How wonderful, how marvelous. One song says, oh, how wonderful, oh, how marvelous is God's love for me. Oh, praise God. We just have to serve him because he's so good. We can't express how good God is. And what a good God we serve. And what a good God who call us into life eternal. Not everyone is called. Many are called, but few are chosen. So we are among the chosen ones. And because of that, we are blessed. We are so blessed. And in Isaiah, Isaiah 54, verse 17, Isaiah said, in verse 17, the Bible says, No weapon, Isaiah 54, verse 17, No weapon that form against thee shall prosper. This is what God says. No weapon that form against, it doesn't matter what the weapon may be. No weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper. No weapon. It doesn't matter what the weapon is. It doesn't matter how powerful the weapon may be. It shall not prosper. No weapon that form against us shall prosper. Isn't that great? It's like we, we, the, the blessing that God has given us has make us feel like we're superman, superhuman, through the blessing, through the blessings. Through the blessings that he has bestowed upon people who love him and who serve him. This is it. No weapon that form against thee shall prosper. And every tongue that shall rise up against thee in judgment thou shalt condemn. So everyone who tell a lie on us and you know degrade us or whatever humiliate us, persecute us, every tongue that arises. You know, we have a blessing. We have a blessing. We are so blessed, you know. We are so blessed. And sometimes I think about how blessed I am. And we should all think about how blessed we are. Every tongue, every tongue, every tongue that rises up against me and you shall thou content, condemn. This is the heritage. This is is the heritage of the servants of the Lord. This is what we inherit. Our glory be to God. This is so awesome. This is the heritage of the servants of the Lord, and their righteousness is of me, saith the Lord. Our righteousness is of the Lord. Our righteousness is abiding in the word of the Lord. Our righteousness is receiving and accepting the word of the Lord. Our righteousness is serving the Lord from the heart. Not just lip service, but from the heart. That we love God sincerely, even as he loved us. Because God's love for us is so sincere. It is so sincere. It is, it is, it is spotless. 
It is, you know, it's, it's, it's an unconditional love. The, God, the love that God has for us. And so he has protected us. And he can be, he says, no weapon. It doesn't matter. No weapon that is formed against thee. It doesn't matter what it is. It shall not prosper. Thus said the Lord. And so how blessed. We are truly blessed, my brethren. We are truly blessed. And we start with the psalm that says, we start with the psalm that says, God is our refuge. He's our refuge and our strength. And is a very present help in trouble. Therefore, will we not fear? Will we not fear, no matter what the condition? And I saw, I saw the power of God this week. I really saw the power of God this week. But as, well, as I mentioned about Sister Ruth's father, father who's sick, and when I went, when we went and saw him in the hospital, he wasn't even breathing properly. He wasn't breathing properly. They put oxygen on him, but he wasn't breathing properly. And he was laying on his side and he said, we prayed for him. We prayed for him knowing the God we served. I anointed him with oil in the name of Jesus. And I prayed for him. We prayed for him. And God restored him. He's coming back. God is our refuge and our strength, a very present help in trouble. Therefore, will not we fear. And I think this has proven our experience over the last few days, how God can restore somebody back to life when we pray. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When we pray, God is our refuge and our strength, a very present help in time of trouble. Brethren, let us hold fast. Hold fast to this blessing that God has bestowed upon us. Let us hold fast. God richly bless you, my brethren. As I said, um, it's been a very tiresome week, but I'm glad that you know God has done so much for us that we are glad and we give him praise. And we give him glory. He is worthy of all our praises. And this is why I love God, because it doesn't matter what condition we get to we find ourselves in. In my life I've seen so much trouble, so much trouble. But I always David says, and I can say as David, I was young and now I am old. Yet I have never seen the righteous forsaken. Now his seed begging bread. Hallelujah. I can say yes, as David did. I, I was young, now I'm old. But I have never been forsaken by God. I, all these years, he's always there. He is always there, Virgin is there for me. He's always been there for me. Praise God, what a God. And so I must give him praise. And I must give him glory. I will close, my time is up. We started a bit late, as I said, we've been very up and down. So we've been very, I think we're all a bit tired as well. And I'm not getting enough sleep, but you know, but God knows anyway, give God praise and we give God glory. So thank God for, brethren, for joining us tonight. So thank God for you all. Um, Pastor Winston is there, God bless you, Pastor Winston. PT, God bless you. And everyone else, Sister Rose, and everyone else who may be on there, God bless you. We give, we give God thanks. We give God thanks. We give God thanks for you all. Amen. Pastor Winston, God bless you. We close out now. and God bless you. I want to say a short prayer before we close. Father, I thank you for everyone that's joined tonight. I pray your hands will be upon us all. I pray you will help us, Lord, to hold fast to you, trust in you, lean on you. Hallelujah. Knowing that you are a great God. Hallelujah. You are God and a very present help in trouble. We know whatever condition we faced in this life, that you're able to deliver us. 
And so, Lord, we have this confidence that you are, be, you are with us and you will not forsake us. Lord, we give you praise, we give you glory, we give you honor. Be with us, Lord, and keep us by your grace. And I pray for those dead as well in the hospital, Lord, that you give them complete recovery. Thank you for your healing our prayer. Thank you for your deliverance. We give you thanks, we give you praise, we give you glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 God bless you, my brethren, and God have a great week. Good Lord bless you and keep you.